Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today we'll be playing Baba is You. See how far we get. Let me cut this one a little short if I get stumped on puzzles for too long and discouraged. <laughs> so let's uh, hop in and I'm going to return to the world map and uh, start as low as we can on the map. So hopefully it won't be killer hard. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Sunken Temple level. Ah, yeah. So, I feel like I made a little bit of a breakthrough on this, playing it uh, last time where I had moved the raucous push all of it over here and had transformed back and forth between Baba and the rock. I feel like I got pretty close, but not quite there. So the rock is pushed, which is cool, but that's not quite enough. So we can go that far with that phrase, and let me see if I can carefully push out this other bit without knocking anything over. So I can do a rock is baba is you, which gives me two babas, but both of them will get defeated, so we don't want that. Let's take it back. Baba's rock. No, that'll kill me. So, how did I get a phrase going for this one? It transformed just one of them over. Let me think. Oh, I know. I think I did just push it over like that. Yeah. And will the crabs still defeat me? Yeah. However, I could somehow switch the push back over and become the rock one more time. I think that I uh, game this out using the is word. Um, may push the rock far enough away. So now if I could just do rock is push. That would be great. So let's see. Gotta be careful in shifting these around. I may have already undone the safety of this, but let's see. Okay, so now I'm bye bye again. Actually need to have rockets push, so that's not gonna help. Just playing real safely, trying not to uh, knock anything to the edge where I can't get it back. Okay, and that may be enough that I can. Now I'll take the is word and shove it closer. Oh, no, the push is past it. Um, could I do a... Perhaps I can push over, push itself, the whole phrase, um, to get it going past. Let's see. Then I'll lose the ability to use rock. Hmm. Let's get it back 
up to where we can manipulate them some more. first time I've tried it. Um, and the wall is stop. Can I possibly do a rocket stop to kill the crab? I just need to think this through a little bit more. So I can't do that. And I still can't switch out to these. That's what I've been looking for. I think that's it. So, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm happy to get that one. That was uh, haunting me for a while. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. Um, let's see what we can do next. Unlock anything on this one? Looks like I've already completed all of them, so um, maybe that's that's it for this particular map. Hmm. All right. Weird. I wonder what this uh, spinning symbol is now. I feel like there's, there's more for me to do here, but nothing is uh, showing. Okay, well, maybe that's it then. Go back out. That's different. Maybe it's because it's the only one I've absolutely fully completed. Alright, the Boiling River. Ah, the infamous Boiling River. Um. So what did I... What have I seen on this one? I feel like I haven't made very much progress at all on this one. So yet. We have a skull is feet and float. And Baba is currently floating. And I can't get past the skulls because of that. Um, of course bringing any of this over would take out Baba, so that's not good. And it can not go either on its own because I still need her main floating. Um, so, what could we do? I was kind of hoping that I could do multiple direction conditionals, like it looks like it only travels in one direction, which I'm sure makes the game uh, make more sense. You wouldn't want to go two directions per se, um, then make it a lot harder, I'm sure, to figure out the rules and stuff. So, what do we do? Water is water. And hot. What about water and float? That won't activate. And then the other stuff will. And I can't get a hot and float. 
I mean, <laughs> um, so Baba is melt and float. What about that? I don't think that gets us anything. So. Maybe I can move the end down here and would that allow me to take the float over for a certain amount across the water maybe and then undo the float and make it underneath the skulls? I think this might be the winner. Let's see. It is. There we go. Wow. Uh, just a repetition and exposure. It's amazing how this totally changes everything. Um, you know, I'm seeing this 12 out of 8. Like, am I supposed to be able to cash in those dandelions or something? Let me go look around on the map a little bit. I feel like I should be able to. Can't get in there still. Hmm. Okay. Tiny Isle. Bob is you and open. Flag and key. Water is stop and shut. And I can't move either of those yet. We're just chilling out there. So this one I got as far as doing something like flag is you and what else did that allow me to do? somehow last time I played but without being able to push that directly ah I think I must have used the and to be two things at once so I took out like flag and key and, and baba is you or something like that or flag and baba is you okay so certain spot. Yeah, I can do two things. Uh, very good point, Peace Dog. So, I think I'm actually going to need to hit maybe this, this one right here. Oh, it got caught. That's the only part that I'm missing here. Okay. two at a time if I restart again, transform one of these into the other. So I should do something like flag is key and then I think that would allow me to then use the open uh, safely. 
so it doesn't matter which one. I just need to transform the item. I think that's what I did last time to get further. Okay, so flag is key, and that should then let us um, do a flag is Baba. Oops. Flag is you. And Oh, I need to use key, duh. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we'll run one of them over like that. And do the other one. How can we get it out? Left side, that would mean we have to approach from the right side. From the top, we couldn't slide it away in the right. Same story. And then bottom, kind of the same story too. So maybe we could turn Baba into a key as well and uh, sacrifice another one of them. Oops. Do, 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 do. Key is you and need to do a Baba is key, but I'm thinking there's a couple of different ways. This is going to kill me. I try. So that'll take me out. Let's look at it again. Oops. And down instead of to the right. Second, sinking here. Okay. Wonder if I need to transform them kind of like this and. is Baba. I could have just multiple Babas and that would work. Um, and then do a... Oh, having having a, another transformation problem here. How can I move? Another one. Baba, I guess this is where the and would come into play, but then if I do that, I can't hit the water either. Urgh. Oh, why couldn't I pull out the wind previously? Oh, so in this, um, the unless you have the word pull and like you use it like Baba is pull or some other item is pull, you can only push usually um, objects around. That's the unfortunate part. Um, so let's try going like this. I'll, I'll demonstrate. Okay, so we're down to the one Baba in the flag. And yeah, I can push it though. So, so frustrating. So I've got to find out some way, I think, to get this um, opposite way out. But Maybe I, maybe I don't need to extract it at all. Um, maybe I could just do a... Uh, well, I need the is, though, to form a sentence. So I have... Let's see, you need two keys or flags. I think I see how. Let's try again. I think that may be the best route. Like, maybe having two babas isn't the right way. There's got to be... I feel like I need all three things to be the same. Um, 
for maximum, but... See, you can use one key below it and another off to the right and then push it out that way. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm trying to go for, but the uh, transforming it to be so is um, the hard part. So we can try a flag as key and that way um, get one transform. So now we have two keys, but now if we want to like Baba to become it too. Um, Okay, so let's try. So we can do like a key is you and then I can take one out or revert to a Baba and just to demonstrate and the flag will, you know, be the end of me just because I won't have a flag on the map. Um, and the is keyword is this just anything linking with you is the hard one. Um, I wonder if in one sentence I can do looking again a flag and Baba is key. Something like that. Um, let's see. Let's move this back a little bit. So I like do key is you. Which makes me a key. And then a. Oh, so I can't separate out the is. <laughs> oh, this one's so hard. Um, let's just bring all the words closer. Baba <laughs> to star. So, um, it's so bad I can move it over just two spaces. That's all it takes. Can you open the top and do flag is win? Maybe so. Let's see. So, that would be best to transform into flag. So, key is flag. Start with that one. That might be the way. Okay, and we'll do flag is you. They're beside each other, so how can I trick that one out? Um, I could do it from this. See, flag is when on the left side. Yeah, I think the problem is going to be uh, I won't be able to separate the is from the you without taking out myself. Is that all in me? Um, it's very close though. Like. It's almost there. That's what makes me think I have to extract um, the wind out entirely. But maybe there's another way. So I would see you and open. I'll let that one simmer for a little bit. It's it's so close. Like I feel like I've come close to it two three times now, but. I'm off just by a little. Wireless connection's a really hard one. And let's see, prison might be easier and evaporating river might be easier. I'm gonna try prison just to see.
Oh yeah, this is a good one. At least for the first time or two I looked at this, it looked nearly impossible. <laughs> All I see you, we have a KK, a little red dude here, a push, and the wall is stop. Um, I can't move any of the segments of the word Baba, or the phrase Baba is you, like out from where they are. You can only move them left and right, it's kind of a restriction with that one. So, I could maybe push KK around, and I don't know how much good that would do, but I, I can do it, sure. Um, the wall phrase, <laughs> KK is fascist. <laughs> Uh, I could move up and down, but not left and right, unfortunately. So, that kind of messes up things. Um, yeah, this one is tough. I, I can turn into KK and do that number, so. I can push Baba around. It's for a little role play as different characters here, but how this one is solvable, like I'm definitely puzzled. Puzzled puzzled. Um let me think. Let's see, putting KK or Baba left of the is and wall stop doesn't join it to them, does it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have a way of transporting the word is over to um, be over here along with the rest of it. I, I wish just for sake of experimentation and knowing the result I could um, do something but I don't think I can break up any of the wall is stop phrase because they're limited to just up and down um, movement but it, just, it feels like there's got to be something more here I feel I feel like there's like a word missing from this particular puzzle, like, it confounds me more than the others. For funsies, let's see what happens. I think it's death if I do this. <laughs> yep. Um, what about pushes? KK. Okay. That shouldn't work, but it's for fun. We'll try it. Pushes you. Oh, yeah, that'll kill me. Worth the shot, though. Maybe I can push myself across the wall, though. Nope. I'm gonna push Baba across the wall. Can't go that way. Let me out, let me out. Can do a KK is Baba. <laughs> I could, but that would take me out.
Yeah, I don't know. I gave that one five minutes. Um, we'll try the infamous wireless connection one. This one, to me, is uh, one that's stumped me possibly even worse than the prison has. So, somehow I need to get, I think a flag is win out of this, and this little river of acid is deadly, so I need to figure out a way to get that robot running across, and I think with good timing, get it to change direction and manipulate uh, those words that are being guarded on the right-hand side. Um, that's definitely tricky. So, they have a cog is stop and move and a robot is push. And the way the robot works is that you can push it left and right and it will if it's aiming up or down, that'll be how it runs once you do robot is move. And then for left and right, it's the same thing. Once you do the robot is move, it'll start doing that. Um, and the trick is, how could I get it over and um, have it change direction to get flag, rocker, wind extracted? Like I think that's going to be part of what it takes, but maybe I can do a cog is move and see what happens there. Ah, so the cog can move. Um, I don't know if it has any directionality. Let me see. Might have to do a push on it. Maybe I can somehow walk. Ah, I bet. Oops. I could use a robot um, to move the cog to the top. Well, that might not be a good idea. I think I want to, hmm. Oh man. Timing on this one's going to be really hard, so I think I would rather do the cog it's underneath the word win, and at the right timing, I'll do Kaga's push or move, and uh, it will travel upwards to push everything up. And that would make flag, and then the little guarded one, and then rock, and then win. And so somehow I need to get some word run over. Maybe I could do cog or something. This one's hard. I hadn't thought that hard into this one yet, so I guess let's give it a shot. We'll try very carefully making the robot push activated. And how many spaces do we have? We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before I have to activate the cog is move. So I'm not sure we'll have to experiment the robot's spacing. We'll start it right next to it and see if that's uh, too close or not. Oh! It's going to start off going this way. I've got the cog is stop turned on. My bad, so I need to put a push on it. Okay. Bam. There we go. Oh. I waited a little too long. There we go. And now, I suppose I can get this going. Oh no, okay. I guess it's the initial direction you push. What? That's totally messing with my head. I feel like there's a way to turn this vertically. One minute. 
I wonder if the last direction you pushed it um, affects its movement. I need to experiment with this some more before I jump on uh, any hasty pain wagons here. Okay, so it's going vertical there. Um, what about horizontal? How do we get that going? Yep, it's whatever direction you pressed it last. So I need to be sure to push it up or down, I guess, um, before it'll go the way I need it to. Okay, fingers crossed that's all it takes. applies to inanimate objects too, so if the robot pushes it, the cog will get stuck in that direction as well. Oh man, that makes it tricky. <laughs> hmm. And then there's the stop keyword, could we make that change in direction between the two a little? Form cogs and robots as well. Um, maybe, maybe that would be a good idea. We'll just let the cog run around a little bit more. So <laughs> it's cracking me up. Try again. Nope. We'll wait for it. Okay. And see if a uh, robot is moved, gets that one going vertically. Nope. They're just buddies traveling along the game together now. not a rock anywhere in sight, so I can't do like a rock is win, unfortunately. Um, but there is a and that maybe if I could transport that over at the same time um, as something else, that that would work. So if I could get two robots running at the same time and get flag and rock is win. Maybe something like that would work. Um, so I'll turn the cog into a robot. Let's stick with our theme here. to a robot is push. And get it lined up. And that also leaves us the spare is word. I'll get it lined up as well. Okay. Now I should just need a 
Robot is move. Oh! There we go. <laughs> oh, that was our one. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I was just totally convinced I should be able to uh, do that. <laughs> Thank you. That was hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kept thinking I'd have to extract the uh, the words like up or down or something or push them somehow. So, yeah, that was tough. Jeez. Dim signal. Oh dear. <laughs> It's the hard mode version of this one. Looks like there's an, an additional and, and there's also the word ice this time added on. Um, I don't think doing the vertical traveling thing matters like I was thinking before. Um, if wind got pushed all the way up it would be flag, rock, ice, and wind so that would block it. So I don't think that's worth exploring. And, can't really change directions once things have crossed the bog either, so what can we do with this? So I don't see much else to do other than do the um, same kind of pattern as before. Maybe I could do flag is rock and ice and wind, but I don't think that's going to work. We need to get flag is rock and Ice is wind, maybe? No. Let's see. I guess it needs to be ice is wind. Maybe it is the same thing, just an additional thing uh, added. And then the left conditionals have the same rules as before above as you flag is flag, pipe is stop, and bog is defeat. So there's nothing interesting there. I don't believe so. Yeah, I guess we'll just do it. Maybe I'm overthinking things. I'll try transforming the robot again. And we'll line up the robot for a push. Ah, that's what it is. I, I don't have a third thing to help me move stuff around. But that's okay. Um, maybe. Uh, huh. Flag and rock and ice. I'm not sure I've seen the ice word pop up yet in another level, so that is a little different too. Cog would make a difference. It changes in direction similar to the robot. Hmm.
Now, I could, if I don't mind sacrificing a word, shove something over to create a stopper. Like, I don't need stop and um, cog anymore, so maybe that's all I need to do to keep one of my robots from uh, being lost. I think that's what I'll try. So we'll do this. Um, there's that extra space. Like, actually, I think it might be two extra spaces, so we'll do cog as well. Because that's just nonsense, but I think it'll allow me to push things over to uh, make that work. So let's be safe with this other robot. I'm gonna put him there while we experiment. And this robot needs to be turned around. And we'll do a move. Hey, there we go. So that should work then. Um, Assuming that my robots don't get misaligned here. Yes, there we go. And do I have two more words to get rid of? Um, the is... Well, I don't have to worry about it now because now I only have two things to move, so I think that I can just run them over straight now. And so yeah, this is a different puzzle for sure. And I think it, this will get it. Boom! <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, that was a good twist. I still don't know what the differences are between the little dandelions and the uh, little flower. Thank you. Yeah, that was tough. Um, what can go from here? Okay. Here's the tiny aisle, and I haven't tried evaporating river tonight, so let's give it a shot. Oh man, yeah, this one's hectic. Okay, so I can't cross the water because it is hot and it is just sink. And Kaga's push and melt. Skull is defeat. Water is hot, so I can't touch the skulls either. And then Baba is used as trapped over there. Flag is a sitting in there, hanging out. While a stop. I wonder if we could do a water is stop. No, just won't let me cross it now. Now it's a barrier. Um, we can't do something like flag is water either. No, we can, but I don't think that's going to help me much. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I can cross now since I don't have the sink turn on. Um, it's just reset. So if I could cross, would that give me any benefits? I can. Nope. Oh, I could move the cog around, but it's uh, going to sink me. So um, we did learn in the previous thing that. Cog will move around. However, um, we don't have the move word to make it to make use of it either. So I can't make the cog run around all happy like we did on the previous levels. No. Could we get a? Hmm. We transport some words over here. Could turn the walk the cog into water. We just want to a little bit crazy here today. That's cool. Um, water is hot, and we have sink as well.
We have push and I don't think that we can start anything off with a verb or adjective like that. So I have to just leave that be as well. We'll go ahead and reset. We'll get a fresh view on this sometimes. Doing that helps. Something well, if we can move the cog around, maybe we can move the skulls around. Oops. But the cog is melt. And but I feel like maybe there's a chance I could push that and that would give us flag as win for being clever. But to achieve that, I don't know. Um, maybe we could get water is skull and see what that hap happens with that. Um, okay. It just goes underneath it. <laughs> That's the answer to that one. Um, yeah, the thing I'm not exactly sure on is like how pushing certain things around. Like if, I guess we also have to have skull is push to allow that to move around. Well, I see the one occurrence of that. I don't think there's anything that can make sync. What would Skull is sync do? That's a good question. I've been I was thinking along the same lines a second ago. Um, I think I can't make the phrase, but I believe it would be kind of like water is sink, and um, I would just I would die and um, like see how the cog melts if it crosses water, um, and then Baba will die if water is sink. So. That is a good question. I wish I could make it, but I don't think I can right now. And I can't join them up there. I think I can do an and, but not an is. And water is stop. It says get us anything but a wall too, so we already established that one. Um, I think Kage's sink won't do anything either. Let's just try it out. Well, that destroy a skull, maybe. Let's see if it kills me when I touch it. Oh, it doesn't. So, somehow could I take that across? Nope. Still can't, but interestingly it does open up a pathway which I hadn't thought of before. Um, so that's interesting. Which makes me wonder about the water is skull again. So do you have a path to run between them? I don't think I can do the skull is defeat as water, but let's try moving that way anyways. I think it might be too late. No, I can move it. Forgot I can walk on the water right now, so that's cool. Oops. Nope. It was worth a double check.
Ah, you know what? If I could transport, as silly as it is, a cog is water over somehow. If I could transport that and then kill a skull by turning it into water, I wonder if that would work. Something like that. Um, and the process to do that, I am not sure. So, uh, what could be done to do that? I feel, I just feel like it's got to be kind of towards it. So, I can't just go straight like that. Um, let's take it back a little bit. I'll leave that one be for a minute and uh, check out what else is on the map just to uh, see what's going on. You know, maybe there's one other that I've had an epiphany on since I've last played. I think I've already checked out all these. Um, maybe one of these leafy levels. jump. Ah, yeah, the teleportation one. Ah, yeah, this one's a booger. So, these hearts are teleporting hearts. <laughs> and the tele block is what does that. So, we have fences stop, Papa is you, water's feet. So I can't touch the water, or else it'll take me out. Um, now, I can move the word push into the teleportation and get it moving along um, and like extract it to the other side so that's cool um, I could try moving like the love is telly you know through the uh, love but then it would get stuck ah oh, interesting I hadn't seen this behavior um, that seems like it could be exploitable. You could get this at one time, you know, use out of it like that. So I wonder if using the push um, just to bury the words over would be enough to get your objective here. Let's see. It's gonna have the problem of uh, just getting stuck. So let's try a love is push and see how far we can get when these hearts moved over and then make it telly again. Because if I can maybe get the water out of the way, maybe that would help somehow. So I really need a crossing feel. This might be it. There we go. Hey, there we go. So, oops. Now that means I could get everything over on the other side, um, which would be excellent. <laughs> we'll do it in the most uh, noisy way possible. Play this one for a couple more minutes, see if we can solve it or not. And... I suppose the same thing would be applicable to uh, 
over here, let's see. Love is push. We'll extract it this way. Kind of a roundabout way, but positioning got me a bit there. Oops. And can't extract the telly yet, fortunately. Um, so what can I do about that? Maybe I need to get these words out into a more wide open space. This is what that song is about. Okay. Here we go. And can I leave that heart behind? Ugh. Or that water. That's gonna be the hard part. Um, maybe with this. I could. I think I just did. Sweet. Okay. That was really tricky. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I did it. So, <laughs> uh, that water. What am I gonna do about that water? I guess it doesn't matter as much. I can do a love is push and do, I suppose, the same kind of idea here. Just teleport it out and, oh, but boy, that messed me up bad. <laughs> I need to get the telly separated again. I think I may have went too far. So love is push, and I'm just setting myself up for the same thing here. I might be. This game definitely makes my brain mush after a while. Okay. Uh, oops. Maybe we're there just about. Okay. Now I just need to get get it in a good spot where I can push the heart, I think. Oops. It's gonna be one of two ways. There we go. I think this might be it. Let's try. There we go! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm gonna take it and run with it. That was uh, definitely a challenging night, and I'm I still can't believe I solved any puzzles. Each time I play this game, I feel like the next time I play, I won't be able to solve anything because it gets so hard. But man, I'm telling you, the effect of just subconsciously solving these is is very real. But okay, I guess I'll go ahead and call that a stream. Thanks for watching and playing along. This has been S tier rank. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. I will be uploading. Uh, replay of this here in just a couple minutes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be playing Dishonored um, probably this time tomorrow. Have a good one!